Hey guys, Dave Massive Plant Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Stillmaster Industrial KD7 Universal Turret Milling Machine. This is the largest of our turret milling machines. We also offer a KD6, a KD5 and a KD4. Our KD7 has a 1520 by 340 heavy duty T-slotted table. Uh, as mentioned before, it has also the vertical and horizontal operation. In the vertical operation, it offers a ISO 40 spindle. In the horizontal operation, it offers a ISO 50 spindle, so a large 50 uh, heavy duty horizontal spindle. Uh, the table feeding length on the KD7, which is a very important uh, key feature of this machine, is 1100 long. So it's a ball screw drive, 1100 table feeding capacity. Uh, just over here, as you can see, it's got a large heavy duty setup table. So we've got plenty of T-slots there um, to suit your heavy duty machining. You've also got the extended table arms uh, left and right hand side there as well. On all of our KD4, 5, 6 and 7s, we also have that standard with our power drawbar. So up the top there, uh, we, we have the power drawbar system that uh, you can actually uh, lock and, uh, and unlock your spindle, your cutting tool. So simply engage and that will actually lock and unlock to, to, to save time and also uh, workplace efficiency. We've also got the, um, the uh, Z-axis spindle feed there as well. So that just engages your spindle feed and also your brake there as well. Uh, LED work light, coolants, and all those key features are just stand on, it, on our turret milling machines. Um, over here, on this side here, we've got a three axis readout. So the readout there, uh, X, Y, and Z. As I mentioned before, in the X axis, it's 1100 long feeding this way, so it's got huge capacities. Uh, now, to simply operate the, um, the spindles, uh, that's operating now, so that's, everything's, basically in arm um, length of that pending control on that hand side so you can operate all the key features. Uh, that's got a variable speed control of it on your spindle which, which is great. We'll turn that off now and then um, put that back there and then we'll operate the horizontal arbor there as well. So that also operates the horizontal arbor and you've got your speed control there as well. Turn that off. Uh, the toggle switches here, or the toggle arms, they also operate the, uh, the table, as you can see. So you can have that in, in fast and operate your full X, Y and also Z uh, feeding and operation via these toggles. Right, let's come around the machine, uh, this side here. As I said, it has the extensions on the table. It has the swarf crate down there in the control cabinets through there. Like, as you can see, there's, uh, there's one of the drives, but all your... Um, your speeds, your feeds are very, very easily accessible. Being a, uh, a universal machine, of course, you can, you can pivot the whole head around 180 degrees to actually operate this machine in a horizontal milling uh, function or simply place a, a big slab cutter or face cutter in there and do your 90, 90 degree machining. Around the back, um, you can see inside the actual control cabinet here, as part of standard uh, asset plant, we have all, all of the schematics there uh, inside the machine. There's the wiring, the schematics, so everything's professionally laid out there with you know, Telemechanic, uh, uh, Schneider Electrics, and all standard uh, off-the-shelf components. Over here, we've got our auto lubrication system here as well. So while the machine's working, uh, it automatically lubricates the machine. So there's, you know, there's no worries about sort of manually pumping that as well. Heavy duty build, uh, all, all these are pre-commissioned and pre-tested prior to Dispatch Australia wide. So there's our KD7 Universal Turret Milling Machine offered by Asset Plant Machinery and you can find that online at assetplant.com.au. Thanks and have a great day.